Hi, everybody. I just want to come on today and continue my series on spirit teachings and spiritual inspirations. This is video number 11. I will be reading a passage from this book, A Guide for the Development of Mediumship by Harry Edwards. Um, there's Mr. Edwards right behind me over my shoulder um, on my wall of honor. Mr. Edwards was a phenomenal spirit healer. He helped bring healing to tens, if not hundreds of thousands of people through his illustrious career as a healer. He passed in 1976. His healing sanctuary, the Harry Edwards Healing Sanctuary in Guilford, England, is still in existence today, continuing his good work. Um, he also has a lot of books on healing, a ton of books on spirit healing. So if you're interested in being a healer, I would look no further than Harry's books. They are quite phenomenal. They'll give you an amazing foundation about how to begin your healing journey um, and how to also give you insight of what the spirit world needs from you to allow them to heal through you, which is a big part of it. Okay. He has a few books also on um, the study studies of a few physical mediums, which are, are, are quite fascinating to read. I believe you can get a lot of these books. They are still um, published, which is great. But please, 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 I can't really suggest Harry Edwards enough um, in any, any of the books that he wrote. Okay, this book, first book I ever read on mediumship, 46 pages, tells you everything you need to know about uh, mostly mental mediumship, so evidential mediumship and trans mediumship. Um, I like Harry Edwards a, a lot because he's, a, it's, it's very important to him, I feel, um, that the role of being dramatic or theatrical with mediumship really doesn't have a place in spirit work. That's the medium, okay? So it, it's spirit, intelligence, wisdom, healing um, is simple. You don't need to be dramatic and theatrical about it. Okay, just let it move through you. We are just a channel and a vessel. No one is coming to see us as people, though we're all fascinating and beautiful to look at. They're coming for healing. They're coming to um, to, to contact uh, you know loved ones in spirit, hopefully, or they're coming to get wisdom counsel that the spirit world is uh, moving and pressing through us to tell them. But they're not coming for us. So the theatrics and and, and dramatics really um, don't come into play with any sort of spirit work. They really don't. Um, and it's mostly just about, I don't know, ego. And that's good. That's going to go into the the passage I'm going to read. Ego and the need to be seen, I feel, when people are too theatrical and, and dramatic with any sort of spirit work. It's, it's There's no place for it, I feel. My opinion, anyway. Sorry, I got on my soapbox for a second. Anyway, so the passage I would like to read, it's quite long, so I might break it up and just um, give my opinion on what he's saying. Um, okay, so Harry Edwards, the guide for development of mediumship passage. Many people wish to become mediums, to see spirit people, to hear them speak, to obtain counsel, to heal the sick, to help the bereaved, to give advice and assist those who are in need. This desire is sometimes simply of satisfying the personal ego to be different from other people, the wish to be looked up to and to be put on a mantle of mysticism. This is the entirely wrong approach to mediumship. Mediumship has a purpose and that is to demonstrate to man that he is not just a physical being, but that he is part spirit and that this life is but an apprenticeship for the greater and fuller life that commences with physical death. That, that through this knowledge, mankind will receive the impetus to adopt an enlightened code of values that in its environment will outlaw, outlaw war, poverty, and all other ignoble trends in the present way of life. Thus the true motive that inspires mediumship is a spiritual one. If this is not so, then no reason can be found for the great forces of the involved personalities in the spirit life, the teachers, the philosophers, doctors, and others to make use of physical human instruments for the progression of all souls. Therefore, 
aspirants to mediumship should possess that inner yearning to be used for the higher purpose and to view their seeking of mediumship as a means to help others. It should be the denial of selfishness and the giving of the self for a spiritual purpose. A true medium thereby becomes a participant in the divine plan of the furtherance of the good. Okay, so I didn't take a break, but I read the whole thing. I love that passage, and I know I read that quite early in my development, and it really drove home um, the point that this is all about service. We're all here. We came here to help each other, to help people that need assistance through grief, disease, pain, depression, to help them with the wisdom and counsel that could be channeled through us, to help them have a good life, to help them be happy, okay? And I, I do believe that if we can just move in to our development and look at mediumship, any sort of spirit work we do, that we're doing it to help others. We're not doing it to, as Mr. Edwards said, for our ego to be different, to move on to this um, pedestal of mysticism, um, to be more enlightened than anyone else and to consider yourself more enlightened than anyone else, I think is, is a danger. And that's really, that's ego driven. Okay. And, and to really understand that when we look at this, look at what we do, mediumship, healing, that it's a service to all humanity, that we are helping the spirit realm and God help heal people, help bring comfort to people who are in pain, who are suffering. I know when I set that intention before I do anything with spirit, before you do anything with spirit, check your heart, really. Make sure you're doing it from a pure space. And when I set that intention and I really am doing, so whoever's in front of me, I'm really sending them love and compassion. And I have a desire, a complete desire for them to live the best life possible. I know when that desire is there and I'm linking with this person with love and compassion, I can feel the spirit world coming. I can feel them moving closer to me because I'm sort of matching their compassion, their love, and be, I'm becoming like them in that, that moment. And they are there to help me. They are there to help me become that vessel, become that conduit so that they can channel and move their power through me to bring healing to that sitter, to bring evidence of survival of so-called death to that sitter, to bring counsel, to bring wisdom. And I know that intention and that understanding that what we're doing is doing, we're doing this to help, to be of service, that they are this there. And that's like attracts like, light brings light. So it's really the laws of attraction, to be honest. But I know the spirit world, if that's not your intention, they don't flow, the information doesn't flow through you as easily. And definitely the healing doesn't throw, flow through you as easily. So it's important to check your heart when you do anything with spirit. What's in your heart? What should be in your heart? What should be in your heart is love, compassion, and the desire to help, the desire to be of service, okay? And to understand that we're all here for a reason. What's your purpose? Why are you here? Why are we all here? Why are we all in the physical realm at in this time on, what is it, August 20th, 2024, what are we here for? What are we supposed to be doing with our lives? Of course, we're supposed to have a good life. Of course, we have to provide for ourselves and our family. That's, that's a given. But what are you doing to help mankind? What are you doing to help the spirit realm? Why are you here? I feel it's really to uncover the, the original good, which is that we're all one family. We're all here to help each other. If I'm happy and I and joyous, then all of humanity should be joyous. But if one child dies, if, there are, if there's war, if there's suffering, poverty, 
we all, we all suffer because we all come from the same place. We all have a piece of God within us, right? We're all connected. We're all one family, one community, the, the community of humanity. So it's important to really understand that your intention is so important with this. I've done videos about this in the past, and I'm sure a lot of them, a lot of my belief systems really are rooted in this book because it's it's very clear um i feel when you read harry edwards harry edwards books a lot of the books that it's really take care of the vessel you are the vessel the medium is the vessel heal yourself first if you want to try to heal others or allow the evidence of survival of so-called death to move through you you have to look at yourself you have to understand what's your motive here why are you doing this there certainly are easy things to do with our lives right there certainly are um things where we won't be confronted with people um you know thinking we're crazy or not believing what we do or um things like that so why are we doing this if you're if you wake up in the morning thinking about the spirit realm and and god and wanting to help that you you're you're a spirit worker you're a medium if you don't then you have to check your heart and make sure you're doing this for the right reasons if we can all just create this beautiful intention to help people without the expectations of getting anything back you don't give help to receive help and you shouldn't be giving love or compassion to receive love and compassion because i feel when we give the love we're changing the energy of the planet and we're increasing the love energy around the planet and the compassion for all living beings not just people for all living for all life is an imperative role and it's it's an important piece of our mediumship and our development you are more than a medium, you are spirit. We are all spirit having a physical existence for the short time here in the matter world. Make your time count. Help as many people as you possibly can. It all starts with you. You have to look at yourself, clear your own heart, get on your own healing journey because the clearer we make ourselves, the easier it is for the spirit energies to flow through us and the spirit influences that are all around us all the time to be felt, okay? So a lot of people, I feel, want to do this um, to feel important or to fill a void in their own lives. And, and a lot of people don't understand that this is sacred work that we do. We, as mediums and healers, we hold the soul, we hold the future, the well-being of our sitters in our hands. We can make someone's life better, or we can definitely make it worse. I've, I've heard many nightmare stories of people going to mediums, and they're just destroyed. And it takes a long time for them to recover from that. So, and that, when people do that, when mediums don't come from, that's what happens, when mediums don't come from a place of, of wanting to help and it's just about service that's what happens i think the whole ship kind of goes off kilter and people really do this to feel important or to feel better than other people um to feed their ego or to fill a void that they have in their own soul um watch these people and you'll see i'm sure all of us have nightmare stories that we've heard about mediumship readings that have really um inflicted a lot of pain on the sitter and that i don't really like to hear stories like that anymore but it's important for me important for me to hear stories like that do you know what i mean because it, it it a it makes me a bit angry but it makes me want to do a better job at allowing the spirit world just to work through me okay so think about that before you go into your next mediumship reading or healing session check your heart you should only be coming with a heart full of love and compassion for all living beings. Harry Edwards also said, though it's not in this book, I don't believe, but in, um, a, in one of his healing books, that a healer 
has to be a being of love, a being of compassion. And I will take it further and I will say a medium also has to be a being of love and a being of compassion. We are here to help people. That's what we're doing. The original definition of all religion is to be of service. And if we could just remember that, we could feel, we will feel hundreds, if not thousands of beautiful spirit people coming to help us, helping to move us down our path, not re really removing obstacles because you need obstacles um, to learn, but they will illuminate this path for you. So just be a being of love and light and allow spirit to guide you. And also what, what Harry Edwards said, that if, if you're not coming from a place of love and compassion, why is the spirit world, why are these loved ones, spirit doctors, inspirers, guides, using their precious energy to come down and work with us and work through us? Okay, so it's important you want to give spirit, you know, a good reason to come work with us a good reason to come be there with us, right? So when I'm doing a mediumship reading or a healing session, if I'm not there out on a ledge on my own. I have my guides are all around me and a lot of, a lot of beautiful spirit people I'm not even familiar with, but I can feel them. They just get to row by row by row behind me. And they're there to comfort me. They're there to support me. They're there to calm me down. They're there to just hold me up. And then the information or the healing and the guidance and the counsel just start flowing through me and it's impressed through me as spirit, as a person, okay? Because we are all spiritual beings and we are the spiritual beings at this moment having a physical existence, okay? So anyway, I really cannot, I'm, I'm going to do a few more um, recordings uh, on d different uh, chapters of this book moving forward. But I really can't suggest this book enough. It's quite amazing. And he's funny. And I, I think that's important. He has a good sense of humor because, you know, no one likes a, a sad and humorless medium, I think. Okay, so thank you very much. I hope that resonated with you. I will put um, the full title and the publisher of the book in the comments. Thank you very much and have a good day. Bye.